Good morning or good afternoon, dear students. Buenos días o buenas tardes, queridos estudiantes. Estoy muy contenta y agradecida de poder estar en contacto nuevamente con ustedes. Eh, hoy vamos a continuar con la unidad que comenzamos a revisar en el video anterior, unidad 1, ¿cierto? Y vamos a ir paso a paso eh, viendo con ejemplos lo que corresponde acá. Ok, vamos a comenzar. The name of this unit is Information and Communication Technologies. And the objective of this class is to express quantity in context. El objetivo de esta clase es expresar cantidad en contexto. Comencemos. Let's start. First of all, you have to know the meaning of each of these sentences. There is means hay, del verbo haber en español, ¿ok? Es el significado, hay. There isn't means no hay. Recuerden que N, T es la abreviación del not, que es la negación en inglés, ¿ya? ¿Sí? Those phrases are for singular. And here we have there are, means I, too. And there aren't, that means no I. And those phrases are for plural. Let's see this. Here we have some examples. So, It says, there is a banana on the table. Hay una banana sobre la mesa. Uh -huh. There is a banana on the table. We use there is because it is only one banana. So it is singular. Okay? Then we have there are three. Three oranges on the table. Hay tres naranjas sobre la mesa. So here we are using there are because three is a plural number. Yes? Are you following me? Then we have there aren't. Remember this is a negative sentence. There aren't any strawberries. No hay ninguna frutilla o fresa, ¿ok? No hay. There aren't. Y strawberries is plural here. That's why we are using there aren't. There aren't. And there we have there isn't any watermelon. Watermelon singular here so we use a singular phrase there isn't no hay ninguna sandía yes there isn't any watermelon on the table let's see here we have a rule you have to learn if the word that is next begins with a vowel, you have to add an N to this word. Si la palabra que sigue comienza con vocal, tiene que agregar una N a la palabra A para hablar de una manzana en este caso. ¿Ok? Si la palabra que sigue comienza con consonante, se queda la vocal solita, para decir un libro. Mismo significado, solo se le agrega la N por regla cuando la palabra que sigue comienza con vocal. ¿Ok? Esto es por un tema de fonética para poder diferenciar que estamos hablando de una sola manzana y no de más. ¿Ok? An apple, a book. So, 
examples with singular. We have an apple. If the sentence is affirmative, you are going to write there is a book. Hay un libro. Uh -huh. And if the sentence is negative, you have to write there isn't any book. Let's continue with these samples. For plural, if we are talking about apples, for an affirmative sentence, you have to write there are some apples. Hay algunas manzanas, okay? And for a negative sentence, you have to write there aren't there aren't any apples. So pay attention here. For affirmative sentence, we use some. And for negative sentences, we use any. Let's continue. Let's see these questions. Para formular preguntas, eh, usando there is o there are, vamos a invertir el verbo to be, o sea, el is o el are, y lo vamos a poner al comienzo de la oración. Eso es lo que nos va a indicar que esto es una pregunta. ¿Ok? So, is there any melon? Means I algún melón. So let's see the picture. And the answer is no. No, there isn't. Okay? Because um, there isn't a melon. No hay ningún melón ahí en la canasta, okay? Then we have the question, is there any peach? So there I can see one peach, two peaches. So, yes, there is. If we ask using is there, you have to answer using there is. And if you ask using are there, you have to answer using there are. Let's read this. Are there any bananas? Here we are using are because we are talking about plural number, bananas. So, here you can see some bananas and the answer is yes, there are. See? And finally we have the last question. Are there any beans? I cannot see any beans. So, the answer is no, there aren't. The same verb to be, and you have to add the N, comma, T. Yes? Let's continue. And let's make sentences. Pay attention to the picture. For example, here I can see one melon only one. So, if it is singular, we are using there is. Yes? There is a melon. To say, hay un melon. A melon. What about the oranges? I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven oranges. So, we are using here, there are. And you can say there are some oranges, hay algunas naranjas, or you can say there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven oranges. There are seven oranges. Or the lemon, I can see one, two, three lemons. So I will say there are three lemons or there are some lemons. Let's continue. And let's answer the questions. Vamos a responder estas preguntas. Are there any apples? Are there any apples? I think there are 
some apples. So the answer is yes, there are. Remember to answer using the same verb to be. Recuerden responder usando el mismo verbo to be. Are. Okay. Is there any banana? Mm, I don't think so. So the answer is no. There isn't. When the answer is negative, you have to use no and n, t at the end. Are there any grapes? Yes, I can see some grapes. So, yes, there are. Yes, there are. Is there any pear? I can see a pear there. So, yes, there is. Yes, there is. And finally, is there any watermelon? Can you see any watermelon there? No, there isn't. Let's summarize this. We were talking about countable nouns. Countable nouns can be singular or plural. Pueden ser singulares o plurales, yes? So we can say an apple, una manzana, or you can say some apples, algunas manzanas. But what about the uncountable? ¿Qué hay de los no contables? They are always singular, okay? Siempre singulares. So we talk about coffee, milk, money, pasta. Those are uncountable nouns. No los podemos contar, okay? Uncountable nouns. To ask about uncountable nouns, you can use the phrase how much. Cuánto o cuánta. How much milk is there, I, in the bottle? Cuánta leche hay en la botella? The answer, there is. Remember to change this. There is. You can say there is a lot of milk in the bottle. You can say there is some milk in the bottle. Or you can say there is a little milk in the bottle. Hay mucha leche en la botella. Hay algo o hay un poco. También vamos a utilizar any para las preguntas. Recuerden que anteriormente lo vimos en negación. También se utiliza para pregunta. Is there any sugar in the sugar bowl? Hay algo azúcar en el azucarero. No, there isn't. Ocupamos el mismo, ¿cierto? Y le agregamos N, T. No, there isn't any sugar in the sugar bowl. Entonces, para negar o preguntar any... Y para afirmar, podemos usar a lot of, some, or a little. Summarizing. Resumiendo. For countable nouns, we can use many, few, a few, how many, or some. And for uncountable nouns, you can use much, little, a little, how much, and some. Some is for both, okay? And those words are for uh, affirmative sentences. Son palabras para utilizar en oraciones afirmativas. That's it for today. Thank you very much for your attention. And remember to follow the instructions to stay safe at home. Remember to wash your hands to use a tissue for coughs and to avoid touching your face. Um, les dejo además acá el URL que pueden escribir tal cual para acceder a más material, una guía con un solucionario donde pueden ir repasando este mismo contenido en Aprendo en Línea. ¿Ok? Lo pueden ver ahí de otra forma también y pueden seguir con repaso. Thank you very much. 
I miss you a lot, guys. And I hope to see you and be with you in the next video.